cigars. So, if you do a bit of a search on YouTube to find out how to aim better in Call of Duty, you come up with a whole load of results. There's a lot of stuff out there. But all they really do, and I've checked these out myself, all they really do is they tell you how to practice. None of them actually talk about the right technique. Okay, as I show you here how to, now I'm kind of trying to be a noob. Um, none of them show you the right technique. And what I'm talking about is, generally people when they start playing the game, they use the right thumbstick a lot, which is what I'm trying to show you here. So, when you're aiming down the sight, apart from as a, this guy that walks around the corner here, you, you tend to flick the right thumbstick a lot all over the place, say so side from side, 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 and you don't really get a good lock onto the enemy. So if your enemy is quite a lot faster than you are, he's going to take you out first. Okay, so what you need to be doing is something completely different. Don't look from side to side as I'm doing there. Okay, don't look side to side. What you need to be doing is only using the left thumbstick. Just use the left thumbsticks to strafe. Forget about the right thumbstick. You need to bring your crosshairs level with the middle of your enemy play in the direction you're looking in. So, you know, if I was looking up those stairs, I'd adjust my crosshairs to look up those stairs a little bit, and then forget about the right thumbstick. All you want to be doing is moving left and right, left and right, strafing with the left thumbstick. It's as straightforward as that. Get your crosshairs in the right position, so prep yourself. If you're going to be going around a corner, you know there's some stairs there. Look up the stairs, look down the stairs, get your crosshairs into the right position for where you're anticipating your enemy to be. Okay, and then when you see your enemy, forget about the right thumbstick, only do strafing with the left thumbstick. Now watch this now as I pick up the SE2010 here. Okay, strafing left and right, left and right. See, I adjust my sights. I'm looking up, getting to the right position, and then I strafe left and right when I lock on. Strafe duck behind cover, strafe, duck behind cover. So I'm using the strafing to actually duck in and out of cover. All right, once you get all that right, okay, um, you'll be doing a hell of a lot better. And to get into, you know, to practice this really, go in a private match, um, set your radar to always on, just play some free for all, set the difficulty of the bots to recruit or whatever the easiest one was there, stick, you know, six or eight or whatever you're comfortable with, find a comfortable map, and then just practice those skills. And when you think you've got a better skill level and you've improved, you know, yeah, stick a few more bots in there, maybe increase the difficulty of the difficulty of the bots and practice that way. Then you can go watch these other YouTube channels that tell you, well, do this for 10 minutes and that for 10 minutes and, and you'll be better. That's it, guys.